Hello everyone. So today I'm going to share with you part two using a, a chair at home and we're going to incorporate using the back of the chair, make sure it's stable. It's good if you can place it on a mat or something just to keep it, the chair stable so not moving around. Um, and basically this little series is almost like a Pilates bar series. So lots of standing, lots of legs, lots of glutes. So really thinking about that core and that alignment. So let's get started. Standing up with your feet glued together, really pull up through those inner thighs. Think long through the tailbone, zip up through your centre. Be growing taller and taller, so the crown of your head is reaching up toward the ceiling. We're going to think about the feet and the legs grounding downwards as the spine and the crown head lifts up and feel nice and strong through your centre. And we're trying to maintain that alignment. Fingertips to the back of the chair, never fully holding on, just a gentle touch. Beginning to breathe in through the nose. Uh, exhale out through the mouth. One more time in through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. And then how we're going to raise the heels. Mini back bend open the chest and the heart. And then exhale, roll the heels and just gently rock forward. Head to the back of the chair, toes lift. Inhale, lift, open and extend, push down through the fingertips. And exhale, rock back onto the heels, forehead toward the chest, lift through the toes. And again, inhale. And exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. And then gently bend the knees, round the back, slowly come on up. And let's get going. We're going to start with our calf raises to exhale, lift, inhale, lower. We're doing about eight of each exercise. You can always choose to do more. If you want to challenge it a little bit further. So keep that alignment, keep that posture, keep that connection. Now we're going to raise the heels, bend the knees, lower the heels, straighten the legs. Heels up, bend, lower, extend. Inhale, exhale, lower, extend. Keep breathing. So I keep the back up nice and straight, so I'm keeping my shoulders stepped over my hips the entire time. Two more. Last one. Now reverse, so bend first, lift the heels, raise the legs, lower. Bend the knees, lift the heels, keep the heels high, lower at the end. Continue to breathe. And you see here, I'm just gently touching the chair, just using it for a little bit of a balance without relying on it too much. If you don't have a chair, you can use the back of a lounge or a couch. You can just simply use a wall. If you want to challenge it further, you can try hands on the hips. Last one. Okay, then keeping the heels up, keep the heels glued, sit the inner thighs, pull up and in, and just a little bend and stretch for eight. Five. Try not to lean forward, stay straight. Three. Two. Last one. Stay down, lift and lower heels. One. Two. Three. Four. Stay low. Five. Squeeze it in. Seven. Eight. Now keep the heels high. Little pelvic tuck. And tuck. So really scooping in through the center. Shoulders stay back. And four, three, stay low, two, one, hold it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and lift. So you should have start to feel those thighs already, maybe even possibly the calves. We're going to repeat that, then in our turn out. So when turning out, try not to turn out from your feet. Think about turning out from the tops of your thighs, engaging your glutes. So let's just practice a few little turn out here. First position, parallel. Turn from the thighs. Feel the glutes wrap. Feel the lower abs pull up. Watch you don't go into that duck bottom. Three more. Last one. Stay in turn out now. Heels together, pull up through the inner thighs, grow taller and taller. And we raise the heels and lower. 
So in turn out, you want to feel like the weight's a little bit more into the ball of your big toe than your little toes. Keep that zip, keep that length, keep that height. Last one. Keep the heels up and we bend. Lower, extend. Lift the heels, bend, lower the heels, extend. Lift the heels, bend, lower the heels. Squeeze up through those inner thighs. Keep breathing. Bring as much range of those ankles as you can. Two more. Squeeze it up. Last one. Now let's reverse. Plie first. Releve. Extend the heels. Lift the heels. Extend the legs. Lower the heels. Bend. Lift the heels. Extend the legs. Lower the heels. Keep thinking about those glutes working. So I really feel my glutes at the top here. Three more. And two. I'm trying to allow the knees to follow the centre toes, middle toes. Okay, keep the heels up and just bend and stretch. So my thighs are turning out, my knees are tracking over my second, third toe. Shoulders, keep them relaxed. Spine, stay stretched, trying to start to lean forward. Shoulders back over hips. Two more. Now keep the knees bent, lift and lower the heels. For eight. Seven, knees wide. Six. Five, zip it up. Four. Three. Two. One. Keep the heels up. Little pelvic tuck. And scoop. And scoop. You can do it. Stay with me. And four. Three, I'm shaking. Two. One. Keep the tuck. Go lower. Eight. Seven. Six, wider with those knees. Four, three, two, one, and lift and lower. Shake it out. Should really be starting to get energy in the body now. Yeah? Let's get into these glutes a little more. So come into your side. Once again, long tail, lift the spine. We're going to come into an abduction exercise. So basically, we're opening the leg out to the side. I want you to think long through the waist. So we're trying not to hike up through the hip, tall through the spine. So it's only a small movement. So about arm width away, take a breath in, exhale just a little squeeze out with the leg. Standing knee, just make sure it's soft and you're not locking the knee in. Give a nice, nice squeeze into the side of the glute. The legs stand parallel. Four, three, two, one, we circle for eight, seven, six. And you're getting a nice wrap into that glute there. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Eight, seven. Make sure you're not arching into the lower back, just the legs moving within the hip socket. Three, two, one. Now, can you keep that leg off the ground? A little bunny hop around. Long through the arms. Standing knees, bend it a little bit. Back leg nice and straight. Now relax your shoulders. Want nice long spine. Lift through your centre. Inhale, right knee in. Exhale, stretch it back. For eight. Squeeze and lift. Crown of the head reaching forward. Last line, keep it back. Eight circles each way. Wrap it up and around. Long and strong. Three, two, one, reverse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, lift and lower that left heel. If it's too much, just drop both feet back together. Keep that back leg straight. Four, three, two, one, keep the heel down, lengthen, lift that leg a little more. Release that opposite arm. Find your balance. This may be enough. Maybe you can release both. Hold. Breathe. Lift that back leg. Drawing through your centre. 
and slowly come up. And we'll repeat that on the other side. Let me turn. You match at the other end. Arm with the way. Long tail, lift through the spine, hips level. Exhale, squeeze and open one. Legs parallel, standing knees soft. Last one, we circle around. Eight. Four more. No latching into that lower back. Reverse. Eight. Four. Three. Two. One. Can we keep the leg off the ground? Turn onto your side. Standing knees soft. Spine is long. We inhale, bend that left knee in and stretch it out. Eight. Lift that centre. Five. Four, three, two, stretch it back, last one, keep it straight and circle around for eight. And you should start to feel your stabilizing glute, so your opposite glute will start to work because it's active the whole time to stabilize you in this position. Reverse those circles and then you want to keep wrapping into your active glute. And four, three, two, one, keep the leg long and strong. Lift and lower that standing heel. If it's too much, just drop both heels together and lift and lower from there. Four, three, two, one. Hold, keep that length. Lift through your center, opposite arm out. Keep that back leg strong. If you choose to, both arms out. Hold and breathe. Lift the center, grow longer through your spine. And then slowly come all the way up. And that is our Pilates bar series using the chair.